let's load up Zwift and take a first look at the new Scotland map. Here we are in Scotland then. This is stage eight of the uh, Tour de Zwift ride. All the other riders are gone. I was a little bit late getting on the bike. So they're miles ahead, but I'm going to take a nice easy trundle around. I've not actually looked at the course in any way or what Scotland's looked like. I've not looked at any other videos. So this is my first look. I believe this one's about a 15 kilometre route, which goes around, looks like the outside, uh, misses out what is probably the hillier part, that little climb in the middle. But uh, first impressions, it's, it's a bit like Mercury, very green, uh, not quite as colourful, and with mountains in the background. But I guess we're going to see lots of different landmarks as we go around. Cows on the left hand side, and there we go, 14.1 kilometre ride in total with quite a long lead in so it must lead round to a different lap starter but uh yeah i'm going to pootle around and see what we can see well first thing to notice is we've started at the top of a little hill we're about to uh head downwards into what looks like a castle and you can see the sea in the different in the distance so it's a uh, on the coast oh look some castle pieces on the left hand side they look cool what's this minus a little three percent decline into sort of old castle area i like this looks quite cool fountain in there as well not those sort of lanterns inside the stone brickwork are that's different our first sight of people on the right hand side this is a cool archway I like this i don't know whether this is designed or based upon a specific area in scotland or what but uh, pretty cool coming through here with the Zwift banners on. Gives it a bit of colour, a bit of pop. And those jaggedy rocks in the distance as well. Yeah, quite cool. All right, just going over this little bridgeway here. And you see the first signs of what is what looks like a city ahead. Here you can see. They're coming out of the countryside area pretty quickly. I do love the the rockery and the, the view out over the sea and you can see in the top right hand corner with a course profile in fact the first part of this course is pretty much all downhill I'm about halfway down now i guess the city will be almost at ground sea level type level i would think lots of people around big moon in the top there interesting to see what the city looks like when we get there well we turn left at a crossroads before going into that little city so we've gone left of it there's some sort of supernatural blue glowing thing there inside that rock looks like a portal it might go somewhere else and some floating lights are they fly fireflies or something like that i don't know around that cool little statue though and almost almost at the bottom a little bit of a rise and then down a bit more as well you can see all the other riders are miles ahead of me. Uh, I'm going to start a little climb here. Just a little one by the looks of it. What does it go up to? About 3%. Looks like it's going to ramp up a little bit more. Uh, oh, is that a... I'm looking at the map. That sort of viaduct thing doesn't look like it's a rideable one. Just looks like we're about to go underneath it. Uh, this little climb. What oh, did that hit? About 4%. Then we'll start going down again, back into the countryside, really. Oh, into a very green area now. Look at these trees and the green leaves, leaves on the road. A uh, little bit of a sort of old building there on the left with all the rockery. And I've noticed there's riders coming back the other way. So I'm guessing we're going to go up further up here and do a, a, a lap and cut uh, a loop and come back again. I like this area though. It's got a nice green sort of eerie feel to it, which is quite cool. I'm guessing the turnaround point might be where the lead-in finishes and then the actual route starts maybe. Because we've still got a little bit of lead-in to go. And whilst I've been relatively slow, maybe they have had time to get a long way ahead of me. I did start quite late. Open water on the left-hand side there, look. I love the scenery so far, it's really nice. All the riders are just joining from that left junction we've just gone past and we're heading into this uh, 
looks like a little coastal town with a little seaport type thing here see a big there's that a power station in the distance and some hills and the aqueduct or something there we're going around the outside i don't know whether we're going to go in it i guess we have yeah, got a little bit of a climb up now i guess before you see the little hump in the profile i guess that's a climb up which we're just going to start before uh going around and heading back the way we came i suppose i no, just getting to the top of that little uh little climb i hit it hit seven percent at one point but it's probably about a four percent average into this cool little circular i don't know coliseum i don't really know what it is if it's designed around something in scotland do let me know little turnaround point in here which is awesome lots and lots of people and i guess we turn around go out the other side and uh head down the hill a little bit i do quite like the splash of color that they put in making it like it's an event i think that's quite cool all the sponsorship boardings and stuff here we go heading down you can see in the distance what looks like another bit of a climb I don't know if it's where we've been somewhere already. We started quite high up, but uh, yeah, nice little ride down here. And I think back along the roads we've already come along. So you can see in the right hand side, there's that sort of castle I was talking about. We turn left to come back along this road, but I assume we're going to head that way doing the big loop uh, again, because we've now started the lap or the route. It was in that. Um, Turn around point at the top of that hill that uh, it clicked into an actual lap. So that must be the start finish point. So we're uh, still 7.4k to go, heading back along the roads that we've already been on. And then we'll head out the other direction. All right, so we're back to the start finish lines. 10.5 kilometers done. We're only got 3.6 left to go. And uh, one of the things that's standing out to me is those hills don't seem as long as what they potentially look like on the uh, on the course profile. It's almost like the map is relatively small, which is quite a good thing, I think, for certain races, because I struggle with with races that have got you know long long climbs in them, even if that's sort of a three percenter. Here's my way, I get spat out, the, uh, spat out the back really quick. This is quite a cool little uh, castle thing to go through. Looks like that, an entrance way to a castle. Um, yeah, I get spat out the back really quick. I think on some of these I'm going to be able to keep up. because They're quite short. Most of them go up to sort of 3 4%. And they're a lot, lot uh, quicker than what they appear in that map on the top right. So that's a positive for me more uh more hills in the background another little castle thing down there in the uh in sort of water area at the sea line looks like we're just traveling around a little bit of uh countryside again right we're about to hit a slightly steeper climb here looking at the uh the, the course and it's going into that i think this is the other side of where we've already been around the back uh, where we turned left and, and came back along the route we've already ridden. I think if we'd gone straight on, we would have hit the other side of this castle. So we've got a bit of a climb up here. I think it does. A little bit of a loop as well, yeah. Another little loop, heading up to the 6% already. This is the sort of area, 7%. This is the sort of area, possibly, where I'd get lost in a race. I'm obviously not going to blast up this now. I'm going to take it nice and easy. We're up at 8%. This is quite cool though. Because we have to have got a little thing at the moment of doing these loopy loopy hills that uh, go back over themselves. I've done in uh, Mercury and now on here. They're not too bad if they don't go too crazy with them. They're a bit of a bit of a killer for me in terms of staying with a group, even in a in a normal ride. Let alone a race. Quite cool, lots of people around, lots of Zwift banners as you'd expect. People up on the rock work. We're about halfway around. 
this little climb part not too bad it's dropped down to two percent there it's gonna ramp up again now and here we are coming out the other side you can see where we came out of that i'm going to call it a coliseum i don't know what it is that was uh out on that hill before but i think we're actually going to turn right at the bottom of here along that bridge and go back in the way we came the first time round. there we go back up as i said back the way around that we went the first time and there we go finishing the glasgow lap back up here in the uh i'm going to call it coliseum it's not really but <laughs> that's what i'm going to call it um half an hour that was the rolling highways or highlands i really like that course i think it'd be really good to to ride around as a as a group and a race i think it's really um suited for both without crazy climbs i know a lot of people like uh bigger climbs and stuff but i think it'll be uh yeah good for all sorts of riding and i look forward to riding it a lot more in the future so first impressions are really positive actually i think in terms of routes the route that we did will lend itself very well to riding and racing i think there's, no, there's nothing major in terms of hills nothing was really long uh which i think is, is good certainly from a personal point of view uh, but let, let, you know sort of hilly lumpy races will be quite good on there and there's a couple of routes we didn't see the hilly bit that intersects sort of goes up the middle of the loop that, that uh, we did that I haven't seen yet and also in the city I know there'll be a sort of a, a crit type circuit which we went around on the outskirts but didn't go in so a couple of routes I've not seen yet but I think they'll be quite good too in terms of scenery it's very there are parts that are very similar to Yorkshire and parts of Mercury and france uh, but i guess what more can you do with uh just open fields and and greenery unless you're going to do things like what they've done in new york and add in you know skylines futuristic skylines or mercury where you can hop between very different areas from a beach to a city center uh, of neokyo and then out into the farm fields with the, the villages and stuff so I, I don't know what else they could really do there's enough stuff to look about i think i think yorkshire is very just very barren um and i think they've done quite a good job of putting in things to look at as you go along uh, to know where you are on the course i often get lost on some of the other courses not quite know where i am so i think that's quite good i find that in mercury in mercury in the city i don't know where i am on the course i don't know if it's because i haven't ridden it enough but it all looks the same at least on this scotland route there's a few you know different castles the big coliseum type thing at the top uh, and you kind of know where you are and there's not not a long distance between each of those landmarks which just puts a bit of interest in so i'm really looking forward to giving that other rides in other opportunities hopefully it's opened up for uh, races and rides that we can select as a t2.5 group and we can do some rides around there in the future and do some proper exploring but first impressions for me are really really positive i have no idea if there's any planned it's likely to expand in the future I probably would expect it wouldn't like some of the other uci courses that they've done but i think it's just another good addition uh to add on and i'm hoping it's not one that kind of you know the likes of yorkshire come around and not a lot of people want to ride it but i think it's quite good and i think it's got lots of potential uh for some good fun racing going forward but uh yeah i quite enjoyed it uh thank you as usual to all the channel members going up the screen right now uh, we have our usual rides as a 2.5 group coming up the rest of the week are going to be Thursday night race which is a TT race this week Thursday night 7 o'clock UK time and the Saturday banded ride on Saturday morning all the information is in the description below if you fancy coming along to those come and join the group come and say hello we're a nice friendly bunch uh, but that is the end of this video if you have enjoyed it do hit like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one